the useful thing. Maybe it should help him. Yeah. I went to the library to turn the books and the, the librarian asked me, oh, you have the with me using the knowledge from this book? And I said, yes, oh, okay, I'll come to your home so that I can see. And uh, the guys came with some journalists and write uh, an article about the windmill. He's been a TED speaker, William. Um, the reason I share that video is really to be, as I said, an example. Somebody that had nothing, comparatively speaking, to what's here. And he had to have and the same, overcome the same obstacles people here are overcoming, right? At first, people thought he was mad, crazy. But then he just demonstrated value to his community, and then the support came. So I'm closing you with this notion of doing exactly that. Rally behind the efforts and the individuals, the Williams in your community. We're going to be celebrating them here momentarily. They're all around you. They need our support. They're worthy of our support. And they will give you back far more than they ask for or they take. They're worth your investment. So. Thank you for that, and thank you for your time and letting me to be part of this celebration here. Um, Beth has a way to get a hold of me if I can ever help in any way. You know, we're practically cousins. I'm just a short distance over the border. So thank you very much. And congratulations to everybody being recognized tonight. You've worked very hard to be here. Thank you much, Tom. That was Tom Roo. Thank you so much. Very inspirational indeed. And as you said, uh, we do have some awards to give out. But before we do that, it is almost time. Uh, first, a little bit about the process uh, that went along in giving these awards. Final winners were chosen by the Innovation Collaborative, Collaborative Boards of Directors, as well as Tom along with the popular vote, each one accounting for 50%. The popular vote in October was wonderful. 5,400 plus, casting over 9,000 votes. I know that's weird math, okay? And what's nice is that the people who were innovative they figured out how to vote for someone more than once. And we were able to identify them, and rest assured, we were very vigilant in making sure that duplicate votes were indeed removed. So the board and Mr. Rue reviewed the information that was provided by the nominators. They chose individually by secret ballot based on that information without knowing the results of the popular votes. The board of director ballots were tallied and then combined with the popular vote, each one carrying equal weight. 
And the result, we have a great slate of winners for tonight's celebration and 83 other great entrepreneurs and their champions have also been recognized over the past few months through the nomination and the popular voting process. And we thank all of those who participated. Job well done. Now a little bit about the artist who created the, ca uh, the categories and created uh, the awards. Todd Scalise, CEO and founder of Hieroglyphics LLC. He has created many community art projects across the region. And although Scalise is best known in the field of public art, he has created a diverse body of creative work throughout his career, most notably the Dennis Hopper Lifetime Achievement Award, created for Dennis Hopper in 2009 for his contribution to independent filmmaking. Todd, unfortunately, could not be with us here, but he shared that I am preparing for the biggest presentation of my career, which happened to be scheduled for tomorrow morning. Now, Todd created these original one-of-a-kind awards out of plasticine clay. And here's our own Carol Merrill. Remember Carol Merrill from... <laughs> Remember Carol Merrill? Yeah? Oh, from Let's Make a Deal? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Not all of us are over 50, right? Okay. Well, he created the one-of-a-kind plasticine clay totemistic imagery is similar to many Native American sources which have influenced Scalise's work throughout the years. And although these somewhat humorous sculptures can be left open to interpretation, many aspects of the entrepreneurial life are depicted. Being number one, building a creative nest to work within, and becoming someone's superhero, standing out from the crowd, generating social impact, and of course, experiencing your first cash crunch. Now, one more thing before we get to the actual award presentations. We have our own county executive, that's Kathy Dahlkemper. Kathy, if you could come up. Kathy has a few words to share for us. There she's coming. Thanks, Tom. I thought I was at the end, so <laughs> I, was, I would have made my way up here faster, but thank you. Well, it's obviously a great night for Erie, a great night for entrepreneurs, and I'm really proud to be part of tonight's event and what it truly represents for our region. Hopefully, you've all seen that I am a huge supporter of innovation and the entrepreneurial spirit in our region, and I believe it's the only way that our community is going to move forward, is all of you and your great ideas. And I really believe this is a transformational time in our culture here in our community. And the way that we conduct business and the way that we engage with one another and the way that we advance the status of our region. And we know that Northwest Pennsylvania is home to so many creative, innovative, entrepreneurial minded people. And now truly is the time to tap into that creativity, to work differently, to collaborate in new and exciting ways. It's really up to us, all of us here tonight, and all of us in our community to remove the barriers that have held us back for so long and to really change the landscape of the Erie region. And it's us to burst out of that box and to find what works for us, what is Erie, and we need to find that collectively. It's us, up to us to explore the technology, to risk and to develop an ecosystem that is conducive to growth. Entrepreneurs have always been and will continue to be the bedrock of this economy. And as I say, you just have to look at where Erie came from, and you can think of the names. We could name them right here, of all the entrepreneurs who've made Erie what it is today. And I'm, and I'm, I'm preaching to the choir here, and I know all of you know all of this, because entrepreneurs, you're the dreamers. You're the tough-minded. You're the strong-willed. You're not afraid to risk and relentless in the pursuit of something great. I've heard it said that the entrepreneur 
tends to bite off more than they can chew, hoping that they'll quickly learn how to chew it. And I'm proud to participate um, in creating the vision and the future for our region. And I encourage others, the others who aren't here tonight, to join us in this cause because, again, this is a group effort. Not a single one of us, not government, not private, nonprofit. None of us can do this alone. It really takes all of us coming together. So I want to thank each and every one of you. And I want to say congratulations, obviously, to the winners tonight, but particularly to those who are here tonight. Did you want me to? <laughs> I just got this sign. So anyway, at this moment, I'd like to share something that's very appropriate for tonight and Erie's future in a video presentation. We are the dreamers that push to turn our dreams to reality. We are the ink that gives the white page a meaning. Nowadays, people forget where they come from. People forget the struggles and pain they endured to get where they are today. We are the tough-minded, the strong-willed, and the relentless souls who are determined to live life on their own terms and create their empire.